Russia forcibly sends men who refused to fight to the Kharkiv front. Russia is forcibly sending men who refused to fight in Ukraine to the front in the Kharkov region. According to the Institute for the Study of War, ISW, the invaders launched an offensive in the north of the Kharkov region when the northern group of forces was understaffed. Now the occupiers are being sent to this direction, awaiting trial. The opposition publication, Verstka, reported that Russian military authorities began forcibly sending hundreds of military personnel who refused to participate in hostilities to the front in Ukraine. In May, they were sent to the north of the Kharkiv and Donetsk regions. The scenario for such occupiers is the same. First, they are held in units awaiting trial, then the trials are suddenly cancelled and the men are quickly sent to Ukraine. Russian authorities used physical violence to force some soldiers to voluntarily go to Ukraine, while others were taken from their cells at gunpoint and sent to the front. According to the ISW, at least 170 such cases have been confirmed. Investigators, prosecutors and lawyers did not know about this. Verstka, citing several sources including in the Kremlin, writes that the Russian military is sending conscripts and incompetent reservists who signed contracts with the Russian Ministry of Defense to non-combat roles in the Russian border, troops, in order to free up experienced military personnel to attack north of the Kharkiv region. Recall, on May the 10th, Russia intensified offensive actions in the Kharkov region. The enemy managed to capture individual border settlements. On May the 23rd, the commander-in-chief of the Ukrainian armed forces, Alexander Sirsky, reported that two weeks after Russian troops crossed the border into the Kharkov region to open a new front, the offensive stopped in the city of Volchansk, less than 10 kilometers south of the border and in Lipsy. According to him, in the Kharkov region, the Russians suffered significant losses and got bogged down in street battles for Volchansk. Trying to make up for the loss of about 15,000 armored vehicles during the large-scale war in Ukraine, Russia has begun equipping more and more assault teams with inexpensive civilian vehicles. At first these were Chinese-made all-terrain vehicles, that is, golf carts. Then, motorcycles from China and Belarus, the publication writes. Naturally, in their original configurations, these light vehicles are extremely vulnerable to Ukrainian artillery, missiles and drones. When Russian motorized assault groups first deployed in the spring of this year, they were kicked in the teeth, said the Ukrainian 79th Air Assault Brigade, the material says. Therefore, the Russians strengthened the armor of motorcycles. Observers have compared these motorcycles to those featured in the Mad Max series of post-apocalyptic films. The problem, of course, is that motorcycles can't handle a lot of armor without losing mobility. Analysts note. Yes, sir.